Just for anybody. Look at our pretty flowers blooming. And all this jungle mess. Yay! I want to show you what I thought was a pumpkin, but I believe it's something else growing. <laughs> I mean, look how big that sucker is. He's huge. Bunch of bubbles on it. It's wild. I've got gourds growing on that. And there's two white ones back there. Big white one, and there's a little white one in the back. And then I walked the tight rope the other day. <laughs> Move Rudy from here to there. It was all grass. Hey, Rudy, Tootie. So then, slowly picking this up and putting it in my compost bin. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. He's a beautiful boy. I know. Need some ladies. You need some ladies? <laughs> you heard the dog coming. The dog following me? Yeah. And I hear you chirping. I've already got all of this potatoes out. I put all the dirt in that old grill there and it sunk. <laughs> I got dirt in there. And I started digging these potatoes out before it rained. And I put the dirt over here around this stump. And you see the top of that stump right there? That's my special rocks I found. Yeah. See, there's. Can I go show you my favorite rocks? one? But, uh, hey guys, I'm gonna show this you is my favorite one. Rudy's favorite. These clover. I'll pick him one. Alright, guys, this is my favorite rock. Alright. This is big, too. Yeah. This is like a Call of Duty tomahawk if it's like a stone only. I just put my empty tires up here. And I'll use them for something later. Not sure why yet. But still haven't cleaned this mess up yet. Well, I'm trying to say that Logan's walked his walk, his walk. Oh, I know. I Locus! have weeded it myself a path or mowed myself a path down through here. I haven't gotten to yeah, my yard yet. I mowed back in here these two a long time ago, obviously, because it's time to mow again. But Hank wanted to try and help mow, so he mowed part of it, and then I didn't have time, but we'll get it. Um, I've already did one picking off of the corn this year, and might be ready for another picking. I got 11 ears off the first set. I got lots of these gourds. This is so pretty. It's a green dark green and a light green and it's coming off of this plant just on the other side but I've got lots of these pretty babies over in here tomatoes are doing well I've done picked two off that were bright red those tomatoes are doing well
I believe my uh, peach tree died. And so did my other apple tree. You can see the little stick right there. I just plucked off all the branches. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have, but I'm learning. I walk this little trail every day. See my pretty little gourds all spacing through there. I've even got white and green ones back in there. Yes. What's a jumper cable? Jumper cables. Does that need a jumper cable? Yeah. From the building right there. They're the red and black, which you had to connect to the batteries. Oh, with the lawnmower and all that? Yep. Oh. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Just the jumper cables. All right, so the uh, ladybugs got a hold of all this, but it's all right. I just kind of let it go. It's growing up in my corn, kind of protecting that some. This is one rat, that one radish that bloomed and I've just been plucking the seed pods off inside there's the seeds okay love you I'm not sure if Parker's going or not but anyway so here's some corn that still has some white. I'm not going to pluck it yet. Maybe another day or two. This is from that really big one that I had stacked up real pretty and nice. Well, it died off because I've been cutting leaves and stuff off, so don't do that. But it would stretch way out, so that's with this yellow plant because it's dying. But it went all the way through here. The one plant that grew here next to this apple tree, which my apple tree is doing great. Getting taller too. But it's spread out. Went up the fence and look, gourds coming through the fence. One was trying to go behind. I said, uh-uh, we gotta pull you back through. <laughs> Um, some blue morning glories come through from the other side of the fence. So I just let them come and be amongst everything. All my cucumbers are done for this year. I have lots of these nasty little fungus that comes up. And it's poisonous, so you're not supposed to touch it, but... I've got a pretty yellow one there, and I've got some green. As it grows, they change color. Now those are all orange. It's pretty cool. But this is how they start it. Yellow, then they turn to this green. And then they have the orange and green. I'm not sure what these are, but I just, I'm just calling them gourds squash winter squash i mean summer squash something along those lines but as you can tell all my cucumbers are done there's a couple of them hanging on back in there i don't pick them till they're nice and pretty though if they become nice and pretty if not they go to rudy so <laughs> He's crowing. He's crowing. I didn't see him though. My boy Rudy's crowing. Yeah. What's up, my boy? Hey, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. Hey, I figured he was telling me something. But anyway. We had a big rain come through and wind. I know, me too. It's sprinkling right now. It feels nice. It feels like October. 
And here it is at the end of August. So, yeah, I'm still putting more cardboard down. I've been plucking little grass sprigs and things. There really ain't that much over in my garden area, actually. Um, weeds or anything. So these wood chips do great. I highly recommend it. Again, I've said in previous videos, I started with cardboard I was saving. Any kind of cardboard. I mean, yeah, any kind of cardboard. And you need to do them like a shingle spacing, which I've got moles now. So they've been messing all this up. I've had moles. But that's why all this is all jumbled and the wind. It's better to put down cardboard than about two or three inches of wood chips on top. I had lots of straw left over. We've done that. It seemed to work. Put some straw down heavily, you know. It's decomposing well. And then this fall, I'm sure when we cut down trees for the winter, uh, we'll have lots of brush and I can mulch up more brush and I'll have it for the garden. But I'm sure I'm gonna put down compost first. I'm not sure why this is open. Let's get this shut. I'm sure my son forgot to shut it. Fruity Tooty, how you doing, bud? <laughs> you doing good. You doing good. I have been putting his water in here, and it stays much more clean. And of course, I've got mosquitoes. Yay. <laughs> what? You the king of the roost, huh? King of the roost. The only king. He won't hardly let me touch him though, but he's beautiful. He loves to talk to me. Walking around. Hey. I can watch him all day. I'm gonna show you how cool this gets. Just putting chicken poop in every day. All the grass clippings and stuff from his from his previous area. I've been just slowly putting scoops in there with the dog scooper. 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 I love it. Oh, there's a new hole. That could be why he's crowing. Something's over here eating. Birds. Because there is quite a bit of... I was picking up a scoop and look, there's a bunch of these worms that Rudy loves. Those worms. <laughs> Parker's been working on chores. He's in charge of feeding I, the pets. I, I feed... Rudy, Hoppy, Waco, and King. Yeah. Every day. And I should get my one buck. And I should get my seventeen fifty a whole week. There goes Hoppy in the background. And the dog playing. Hoppy's not okay with that. Not really. <laughs> he likes to hang out behind the boat. And I take him in at night. He's an old kitty. Leave him alone. Hi, Hoppy. Leave the cat alone. There. One. Come on. King. Let's go. Hey. No. He's exploring um, Rudy or Rocco too because I had Rocco out in the house. You want to add comments? 
Do what? You want to add comics to the video? Comics. Comment. Comments, yeah. You can like, share, comment anytime you want. Well, let's just say if an eight year old is watching this and wants to send it to their friends or mess with the kids. He says, well, I want to play. You gotta, says you no. gotta do a screen or core because that won't send the message to kids. Don't, let me tell you. Yeah. I thought before. No. I put this big old trash can before I knew it was fixing to rain. Dumped it out, cleared it out. Got nice fresh rainwater in there now. Feels like I'm gonna just dive in and swim. Because I'm so excited, I got some gutters. <laughs> I've been living here for 18 years or so. 17, really? 18, 16, I don't know. I thought it was 15. Could have been 15. And I got a little hole where water drains out because we don't have the downspouts yet. As you can tell, they're still working on my home. But uh, I caught. A whole bucket there of rainwater the other day. That tells you how much rain we got. And then this one I brought up here. And look, it's full. And then it was spewing over and filled up that one. And dogs drink out of it. Yeah, King's got three different My choices. My dog loves it. My dog loves it. Yep. But Hoppy Back likes up. to hang out under the boat. Good boy. Good boy. Rocco as big as ever. <laughs> now you stay. You don't attack the kitty cat. I'm on the show. Oh. Not in I'll get you in a minute. Hey, Mom, you check the kitchen. All the other ones, I'll check this one. Oh, he I hear him. Yeah. Hey, Rocco. <laughs> I'm trying to pick him up for the viewers. No, just let him play. <laughs> Honey, you can't see. He's got to be in the sunshine. He's so dark that he don't have a white... Uh, speck on him hardly anywhere. Now, I found a little spot maybe on his belly, but there it is. Little sprigs. <laughs> He's a pretty boy. And it's got white. He's got some green eyes. He used to have green. He's a wild boy. He's a wild Yeah, he's white. He was meow when they was working on a big addition in there. He's ate up with fleas. I've been putting coconut oil on top. Just rubbing it in his skin to help his skin heal. So, he but, is wild and we gotta get him fixed this week. Stop. What? Quit jumping in like that. Anyways, Parker was saying he's gotta be fixed this coming month, not week. I thought he said. I don't have money to fix him, but he's getting that age where he might start spraying soon. So we're going to take care of it before he does that. Pretty boy. We'll just make him an outside cat. Just... Right now he's inside because... He used to be outside with his big claws and yeah. Yeah. All right. He's up on the chair. We'll let King on the end. King is exploring. Today's the first day I've left the door open today. They play with each other under the door. And I thought, well, surely they can figure it out together. See? They're just... Hmm. They're figuring each other out. Yep. They both want to play, but Rocco's like, you're too big. <laughs> He's like, oh, come on. <laughs> you scared him because you opened the fridge, but King knows not to go in the cat room. The cat done knocked over something in there. But that's about all that I can tell you. We, uh, you know, my bathroom's still in here. My pantry's still in here. Uh, I'm going to go over there and do my dishes from breakfast this morning. Look the ice cream. I took the leaf out of the table to make it small, so I got a little bit of a table here to do school. We're out of ice cream, honey. That's bull crap. Parker, I'm going to show you. This is a before bathroom, but soon we'll have it redone. Sink.
toilet, heater, shower chair. Here's the tub and the big step that Hank has to get in. We're going to change it. To an actual shower, not a bathtub. Right. Hopefully the sink will go over there and we'll have a wheelchair access right here in front. So we're trying to make it better. The living room we've moved back into. And I mean the ceiling's still hanging down. It hasn't and fell I, any further. And I got my own chair right here now. But yeah, I moved a big recliner back in here. So we all three have our seats. 